Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. My name is Michael. I'm the Public Programs Manager here. Today we're going to make our own freestyle slime. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. Up, we are guys? here in our hangar. I've got our slimeologist, Lan, with us. Lan, what kind of slime are we making today? We're going to make a freestyle slime, just some random things you could pick up in your house. Today I found popcorn kernels. So we're going to use Popcorn kernels to make slime. Yes, it's gonna make a crunchy pop slime. Why not just eat the popcorn? Because I don't want to, and maybe my teeth hurt from popcorn kernels. All right, kernels. fair enough, fair And enough. I have braces. So, oh, good oh. call. So tell me what's the first thing we're gonna need to make this slime? We're gonna need some glue, Elmer's glue preferably, yeah. my favorite, and we have our slime activator or our magical liquid. So um, clear glue, why are you going with clear glue today? Because I want to see all my kernels, and if I want to add um, different types of colors, I can if I want to. OK, fantastic. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to pour out uh, an unspecified amount. Usually, <laughs> kids, if you go online, phone, internet, with parents, you can find the exact ratio. Here, it's more of a touch thing for us, kind of like when people bake. They bake from the heart. They don't really bake off of a recipe. And if nope. they do, sure, it tastes great. but. Just not the same. So, Lan, we're adding activator now into our slime. Yes, yep. I like to do it in a bowl at first, give myself a little stir, and as my slime starts to harden, like so, I'll pour it out on the table and get to mix it. It's almost like just baking. We're doing science here, but kind of, it's almost like a kitchen science, I would say, except you're not gonna find glue in the kitchen. You're not. Nor should you. So, Lynn, I see that we're, we're getting like these clear globules or like slime. Perfect. I this love is, it. This okay. is our slime right here. It's making. So we've got our slime and it's going. The activator has caused that glue to come together. All the bonds yes. and all the molecules are literally just sticking to each other. Sticking to each other. So we've got it going. Man, that is looking pretty good. And, and as you guys do, remember, again, add a little bit. Work your way up. Don't just add a whole bunch of it and I, try to work backwards. I always do that add with, a whole bunch. I always just, yeah. I don't know why. Well, I think we have a good understanding of how much should go into it, yeah. as you can see based on your slime right here. So now that I've got my slime, yes. right, and I'm playing with it, and you it's just keep just it. working it. So at what point do you know, just professionally, because you've worked with slime for a long time too, that you're ready to move on to your next step? As it starts to stick to my hand more and come together, and I can stretch it more, okay. I know that it's ready. And so, there, I mean, this, it's very simple. There are no it, d directions that we can like really give you other than it's, it's feel, feel and touch yep. and you're gonna know. So now that I've got this for yes. our viewers, you okay. don't have to just add what we're, we're putting here. You can no. add almost anything. Rice. You can add rice. You Marshmallows. Can add packing peanuts. You can add anything that you find around the house that you think would be cool in a slime. Ribbons. To put in there. You wanna get decorative with it, you can put food coloring in here, yes, you can yeah. add glitter, you can add everything and anything, it'll all stick here. Another cool thing that most people haven't seen about slime, and it's a, kind of a hack, is if you make slime like this and you have that hard to reach spot in your car, like the cup holder, yes, or you the, the gear shift, you can actually make slime and roll it right across there. It actually will pick up all that dirt rather than you try and like scrub it out or anything like that. Um, just make sure you have your parents' permission before you do that, because heaven forbid you put slime all over the car and then you blame me, now I'm have a pretty expensive bill. <laughs> so what are we gonna do next? So I kinda want my slime to get a little bit more stretchy, so I'm just gonna add a tad bit more glue, just a Kay. tad bit. Looking for a little bit more stretch to yes, it. Yes, I am. Getting in there. And then slime can also, you know, people have these, these slimes that actually like, like sounds like if you push into the, the cup, it's like it like a Oh, like, sound, a, like right? a little, like a. Yeah. And, or you can have a crunch to it. Hmm. So, crunch, um, so one, one thing that we're gonna do here, once we get our slime working is, we're actually not going to add the popcorn to the slime. No. We're gonna add the slime, slime to, to the, the popcorn. popcorn. And that's kind of a step that we have realized works really well rather mm -hmm. than it all just kind of sitting on top of the slime. Adding the slime in there is going to allow the slime to really get into the popcorn bowl and really move its way around. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move that in and around the popcorn so that we can get it. You can hear that sound now that we're getting in there. And there's no amount. There's any amount is a good amount. If you want a good crunch, if you don't want a good crunch, it's really up to you. But as you can see, it is sticking in there. It is getting 
just wrapped into that slime. Oh yeah. Making a nice mess here. It's very messy. Mom's beware. But as beware. you can see now, it's all grabbed into there. And now, fun thing is, a lot of people are like, all right, I want to play with it. I want to hear the crunch. You know, like good bread, if you're making bread from scratch, you have to let it sit. You got to let the yeast work. You got to let yes, it rise. Yes, you do. Same thing here. You want to let that sit in a, in a closed container, just in a room temperature room will actually help it set so that when you play with it again, it's gonna have the full elastic uh, capabilities to it and it's gonna look really good. So thank you, Lan, for making your popcorn freestyle slime with us today. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Again, moms, beware. <laughs> we wanna thank Truist for sponsoring this video today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.